What's up, y'all? It's your boy Ozzy. Boy Mikey Stacks. And welcome to episode five of Tune Into the Culture. Episode five. We on episode five, man. Yeah, we really, really going strong now, guys. Yeah. Um, two things before we get started from my end. We don't got no fancy background this episode. I'm sorry. Yeah, we need a we need a we need a bigger green screen because you know I'm kind of I'm kind of wide body. You know what I'm saying? He got yeah. a big head, so we got. <laughs> so, <big. laughs> but uh, probably next episode we'll get back to that fancy stuff. But yeah. uh, another thing, my boy Q again with the clothing line, Guy Gear Clothing. I know y'all see it, dope. Uh, we'll probably have the link in the comments again for this episode. But y'all go cop some of his merch, boy. Yeah, it'll be the pin comment. And if uh, you guys are listening to the audio only version, what, what's the website name? Is it GodGearClothing.com? Yeah, something like that. There it is. So his for, Instagram for audio only listeners. We got a link on his Instagram. Goats don't gloat. That's his uh, merch. So yes, sir, yes, you guys can go there, follow him. Chucky Jordan, his main page. You can find his clothing line yeah. on there. So yeah, let, let, let's tell the people we sipping on. You know what I mean? It's, I'm a man of God, so I'll put the drink down. I'm out here sipping. My boy sipping the Sprite, you know, that's, that's my Sprite. And then I got the Simply Lemonade, you feel me? <laughs> that strawberry, no, sorry, this is the Raspberry Lemonade. A little exotic for you boys, you know what I'm saying? This is a... Yeah. So what we get into first, <sighs> Mr. Ozzy? Refreshing, refreshing. Let's talk about that Trump indictment, man. Yeah. As you can see, your boy Trump, he, he couldn't do the race, you know. <laughs> he went from being protected by the feds to being on the run from the feds, you feel me? Facts. That man, they say he didn't get a mug shot or nothing. He just got fingerprinted, got got his ass out of there. So, you see, he was at that UFC fight last night. Yeah, I know y'all dude. watched it. So, so you know let's, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. Go over a quick overview. So, man had thirty four felony charges, a falsified business records in the first degree. So, all the charges related to a hundred thirty thousand dollar hush money payment by lawyer Michael Cohen to adult film star. It's all star because this man is smashing on porn stars. It's crazy. crazy. That is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, that's the first thing you like. Come on, bro. You making so much money? Why are you doing it? So he paid a, a porn star one hundred thirty thousand dollars to take you down the raps. You know what I'm saying? Like he wilding. So the porn star apparently Stormy Daniels. And man is like 70, 73, bro. Anybody that would let themselves go like that, disgusting. I'm, like no money. Not all money, good money, bro. That's that's gross. Let me uh, jump real quick. I think they just trying to tarnish. They trying to fuck him up so he can't run for president next year. That's yeah. what they trying to do. I don't support Trump, honestly, but I think they're doing this. I don't support him or Biden, but I think they're doing the smear campaign so Trump can't run for it. You know he's still going to run, though. This is probably going to make his following get bigger. We know Trump has his loyalty. We, we, all, we all knew about this in the very beginning of his campaign. But, you know, once he got in, they were trying to impeach him, but yeah. the impeachment process didn't go through all the way in time before his, camp, his uh, run was over. Yeah. So, like, they just like, oh, well, he just got out normally. And yeah. Biden just came in. So... Pretty interesting yeah. how that turned out. Yeah. But yeah, so this whole thing, the allegations started, uh, she had an affair with him in 2007, but it was brought up back in 2016, and then he was just like, oh, no, that's not true. I would never do that one. Yeah. I got to say, he was he was a lot sweeter with it than uh, your boy Bill Clinton. <laughs> but that he did. Said, that mean, what did he say? I did not have sexual relations with that woman. That's what he said. <laughs> but we know he did, though. Yeah, that man, was, that man was getting necked up in the Oval Trump. Office. Trump, he was, a ha- he was having a good old time at that UFC fight. Who won that fight again? Uh, Israel Adesanya. Shout out to him, too, for getting Shout that done. I know y'all hey, were watching Shout that. out to all my Nigerians out there, you know what I'm saying? I caught the highlights. I seen Nigel, we know carry the last. You feel it me? was hella people there. I seen Trump there. I seen DJ Academics there. I seen Aiden Ross. I seen That boy, Takashi 69. Trump, he, Mike he, didn't even, he didn't even know who was fighting. <laughs> he was just like, yeah, you know, I, I support I support Khabib and uh, I support Khabib and the other guy. I was yeah. just like... Mike Man, Tyson wanted to be there. Mike Tyson, Mike. I seen Mike Tyson, Kid Rock, Trump in the mm-hmm. in the front row. Oh yeah, and Dana White. What, what what a weird combo. What a just a weird combo. But uh, yeah, yeah the whole Trump thing is nothing new. Politics are always covering stuff up on a regular basis, so not too surprised on that. What you want to get into next? You want to talk about that Dreamville concert? I call yeah. it the Drakeville concert. Yeah, you know, he's, yeah. a, he's, he's Drake's number one fan. He's, he's more of a uh, Drake fan than, uh, than Drake's son and DJ Academics. Okay. So he got all the merch. He got the hoodies, the jackets. Shout out to my he, wife. He's the receipts of his uh, tickets from the concert. Too. Oh, no. Shout out my wife, though. She keep me in the OVO. She know what I like. Yeah, Shout he, out my baby. He got the OVO hat and the sweater, right? I don't got a hat. I got a sweater, though. Okay, for and sure. And a shirt. And the pants. But, uh, yeah, let's get into that. So, I don't know. I was watching a Dreamville concert. I was watching an academic streaming, and I was he was streaming it. And 
You know, J. Cole did his thing, yo. He, he had his, he got his few little hits, but I just feel That's like little boy, stop playing. He with got his hits, but J- I feel like Jermaine, Jermaine, Cole, <laughs> the real is back, the real is back. I feel like J. Cole kind of boring though. All right, First sit with down, young buck. I feel like, uh, uh, <laughs> I feel like rest in peace, Uncle Phil, for real. Yeah, rest in peace, Uncle Phil. But playing. yeah, I think uh, J. Cole, he just. He ain't the GOAT like Drake. You know, it was good when Drake, J. Cole was performing. Let's say this right now. And then Drake comes, he brings out Uzi, 21, Glorilla. Lil Wayne comes out of nowhere, comes from the dead and, and pops out of nowhere. Okay. Like, yeah. only Drake can get so, Wayne so, to let, 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 let's, let's do a quick overview, right? So, Drake, there's no doubt that Drake's features, they call it the Drake stimulus package, right? You get yeah. a Drake feature. He's a GOAT, yeah. But, how many, but people can't pay Jermaine Cole, Mr. J. Cole, to get a feature when they feel like it. He has to look at it. If he look at the verse and that thing trash, he'll be like, nah, I'm not doing it. Yeah. Like 2018, he did like three verses. He did a verse with Moneybag Gill, J.I.D., yeah. and 21 Savage for a lot. And that's yeah. why, mind you, J. Cole stopped submitting his music for Grammys. But because that was a 21 Savage song, it got they won a Grammy off of that. That is true. But so, you know what's so crazy? He, he got that star power, so we can't act like he's No, he, he got star power. But well, listen, 21 came out for Drake. He didn't even come out for J. Cole, and he got a Grammy with him. That don't make no... I'm like, so... That just shows you right there, like, he choosing Drake over Cole. I mean, yeah, he even said that. He, he said he, he robbed, because that, that boy, Drake, bought a, he, he bought a 21 Savage a car. When they, when they first linked up for that song. No, I'm not uh, saying. Yeah, he, he did. Gave, he gave but he the got car. a Grammy with J. Cole, though. He, he didn't even come out for a lot, but he came out for Rich Flex with and Knife Talk yeah, with still, Drake. still doing that album promo, man. Yeah. Okay, so, anyway, on to the, the main part of the, that whole thing, bringing it up. So... Drake brought J. Cole out and was t- giving him a flower. He played the the Whitney Houston song. Yeah. The I Will Always Love You. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, it, and he had the crowd singing to him. And I, and I think it's important for now that this generation of artists to be giving people their flowers while they're still alive. Yeah. Because right. as you can see, that is, I rappers mean, are getting dropped like flies, bro. Like every every month you're hearing a rapper dying. Like who's the yeah. most recent rapper that just passed away? Was it Take? Uh, was it B Take B Savage? Some underground? Oh, rapper? yeah. It was him. But as mainstream, I think the yeah. last mainstream rapper to die was definitely Take, take Off. off. Before it was P.M. Yeah. Then you had uh, Janet Youngin, Pop Smoke, oh yeah, it's the Nipsey. And it's the two year anniversary of DMX passing. Oh yeah. That's a, I this posted that on my Instagram, rest in peace, Dark yeah, Man X, DMX. That man, that, man had the, that man had the voice. He had the little raffiness and things like your, your, yeah. your uncle at the cookout. He yeah. said, let me, let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. <laughs> and he, anytime he was like, you would be you'd going crazy. DMX definitely a legend though, man. Yeah, long, long live the legend, man. Long live the legend. Two years today. Um, but yeah, you're right though. It's good that I, I'm glad that uh Drake did give his flowers to J. Cole. Shows J. Cole's that, definitely a goat in this generation. Despite what people say about Drake, Drake still staying humble for the most part. He yeah. he, he be showing love. He shouldn't though. He shouldn't be humble. He, he showed a lot of love to new artists, old artists alike, because we've seen that some people say that oh he only show love to artists so while they're hot so that we can get but he don't have to put no love to toward none of the new artists. He could be selfish. He could and keep making his. He's still getting his platinum plaques, yeah. his gold plaques, all that stuff. But he's showing love. He, he, he's trying to like stay in touch with the with the culture. So I had posted a video on my Instagram. I'm sure a lot of y'all seen it. It was Jim Jones was saying how Drake and Jay Z are like the two goats, and mm-hmm. Jim Jones was saying a lot. He was speaking fast. I know. Was, oh, y'all don't care about Jim Jones because one hit wonder whatever. But what he was saying, he was speaking fast, and I feel like Drake is the. He's the goat of this generation, and Jay Z's the goat of his generation. Yeah, Drake is a the hit maker goat. Yeah, he is. Billboard Drizzy. He just dropped. Speaking of that, he just dropped a new song, "Search and Rescue." Like, you I know y'all are peeped it, huh? So you a struggle artist? You're like, damn, what can I do to boost my? You say either you don't want a Drake feature, you want a Jay Z feature, or you want a Kanye feature. Fine. Nah, no, Wayne. Wayne. Oh yeah, Lil Wayne. Two thousand seven to two thousand ten. Everybody that had a Lil, Lil Wayne was like a feature for pop songs. <laughs> Rap songs, R and B, everything. Any man was even cross up, crossing over into rap when he rock, had the, when he had, rock when he had the uh, Rebirth album. Yeah, rock. Yeah, yeah. But yes, yeah, shout out to them. Uh, Drake dropped a new song, "Search and Rescue." We mm-hmm. was listening to it before we started recording. Yeah. I fuck with it. It ain't his best shit. I, but think, I think it's a solid eight out of ten. They sure. said it's projected to beat Morgan Wallen, that racist country singer. I think like number one or some shit. The one that said nigga and shit. Yeah, y'all know what I'm talking about. They said it's probably gonna be number one. That's gonna be another number one. You know, Billboard Drizzy, he got more hits than and the Beatles. The, you know? I, I gotta say, the most notable part of that song is the whole "I didn't come this far just to come this far." And Talking about Kim K. Yeah, and you know, the, the part, the part that's that line reminds me of uh, J Cole when he said, 
He said, the good news is you came a long way, but the bad news is you came a long way, nigga. <laughs> you can't, you went the wrong way. Jay, that's, uh, that's funny. But that boy, Jay, he petty for putting Kim K in that fucking song. And yeah. you know what's so crazy? She had to approve that. So that means she willingly let him sample her voice in that song. So, you know Kanye living somewhere right now with his little 24-year-old wife. You know that man going ballistic. I, 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 Next time he get on Twitter, that man going to be ranting for days. I feel y'all, like, y'all, hear, y'all heard it here first. So check this right. Check this out right. I think that Kanye just married that girl just out of a marriage. This is like, you just got out of, a, out of a marriage like, what, six months? Maybe it's been a whole year now? <laughs> yeah. And it's like, clearly, she, she not letting him visit the kids. And they got four kids together. Yeah. She out here on, she, she doing, tic, she, she letting uh, her kids be on TikTok but won't let him see their kids. Yeah, like, I get it. Kanye been saying some wild baby, but those are still his kids. And like, he was never not in their lives. He's been in their lives every step of the way. Yeah, like, they were married for like what twelve years or something like that. Yeah, that's how old they are. They're wasn't like, twelve years. It's like seven years. No, nah, because they're old. No, it was, that don't years. mean they was they wasn't married yeah. with North when she was pregnant. I'm looking at right now. Sure, yeah. They was married for seven years. Oh yeah, but there was a part that I did not like about that whole thing. North was out here making TikToks and dressed up as Ice Spice. I think that's a little that's a little weird. I feel like. Parents shouldn't be letting their kids be. Because I don't think it's nothing. Years. They're married six yeah, years. Nothing against Ice Spice. But it's just like the type of music she was making, like, she'd be doing that thing where she like, she'd be looking up. I don't think a kid yeah. should be emulating that type of behavior. I'd say the same thing about rappers, too. Like, if a rapper talking about, I'm finna, I'm finna shoot the block up or I'm finna spin on my ops, I don't think a 10 year old kid should be like, should be repeating. You know what's so like crazy about that TikTok shit? It's funny you mention it. They said that their fucking account got like, banned or suspended and I guess I was on TMZ and it said that uh, North wants to take a break from TikTok mm. so it's just funny how everything works out yeah. so yeah she was yeah. on TikTok speaking of TikTok uh, the government was trying to like ban TikTok in America because China the, the CEO of the TikTok the security is, is, reasons yeah, right yeah the CEO of uh, TikTok is a, a Chinese guy he was talking about how yeah. like, they have a button apparently that has the ability to make anything go viral so the people that are running the app, they choose which things to promote. Yeah, the algorithm. So when he was talking about the algorithm, he was saying how, like, in China, they, they make sure that they promote things that boost, like, morale for the country. Yeah. Things that boost, like, education and artistic value. Yeah. Meanwhile, in America, he said, oh, that's a little bit different. So, like, clearly, he, he didn't he didn't specify, but when he says it's a little bit different, they're trying to push, like, things that are inappropriate, super yeah. sexual in nature. Like yeah. girls throwing it back, you know, dudes yeah. talking about, oh, I'm finna slide on my ops or whatever, things like, like that. Or yeah. people just doing like violent or dumb acts of, uh, what's, what's the word? Stunt, like crazy stunts. Yeah. Like, you remember when Vine was a thing and they had people, they were, they were putting the, the fluid on them, the lighting yeah. on fire and seeing if they could jump in the water fast enough. Yeah. People were doing dumb stuff like that, risking their lives for a little bit of clout. What that, what that, what that man uh, also said? They do anything for clout. Exactly. <laughs> Speaking of that, not really clout, but. Which I think is a fucked up story y'all probably all worried about. Cash App founder got stabbed to death. Mine and his business got killed. He was, in, he was in San Francisco. That's and, crazy. You know, the wildest part about the whole thing, they said that it was an accident. I said, how do you accidentally stab the not person? An accident. How do you accidentally stab the person that created Cash App? Somebody was paid to kill him. That shit was a hit. That's you an assassination. Come on, bro. That was an assassination. And then, and guess what? The next day, the U.S. government, they opened up their own app called FedNow, right? Which is basically supposed to be a cash out competitor yeah. where like they're replacing they're using the US dollar and having it as yeah. a digital currency because right now the country is running out of uh, running out of money right so let's say a bunch of people let's say like a hundred thousand people took out ten thousand dollars out of savings right now the government banks the yeah. normal bank would not be able to supply that amount of money because they don't even have all the fiscal cash inside the vault yeah. so they'd have to be like oh we'll give you this amount and then we'll give you the rest later isn't that crazy that you can't have access to all your money if you need it right now but most, not everybody's rich like that, but for the people that are like, yeah. they have their own small business or medium-sized business or even big businesses, they can't just pull out 100K right now and yeah. cash what they want to unless you're at a certain type of bank. But Rest in peace to him, man, because he changed the game with that yeah. cash app shit. Cash app changed a lot, especially when people that didn't have bank accounts, right? Yeah. Like all you needed was a phone and you could have like a, a temporary debit card. Yeah. But the thing about cash app, because of that, it's led to a lot of people getting scammed. Yeah. And like, they didn't, they didn't have a customer service to cash app for a long time, so... The scary thing was getting pretty big. Yeah. But man um, still changed the way for how to send money. Oh, yeah. We got to, uh, not to uh, go in a different direction. How was LA when you went? Man? Oh, yeah. So, so LA and shit. For those of you that follow me, people. On, yeah, for those of you that follow me on Instagram, you know, hey, on Instagram, shameless plug. Uh, I went to go see the Lakers versus the Suns on April 7th, which was Friday. And they played. It was, it was getting close. At first, 
the Stars were, were taking the lead, right? The, I think the Lakers scored first, and then it went up. It was tied up like in the first quarter, like 39 39. I got a little stressed. LeBron was, was getting in and out of the game. He only scored like 16 points. Uh, what's his name? Beasley? Or, or Lee Beasley. Yeah, Beasley. Beasley. He was out here. He was out here scoring. And then, what was the other guy? Uh, oh, yeah. D'Angelo Russell was dropping points. Yeah, he'd be going and then They had, like, four. Like, the whole starting five was... Well, the starting five was usually the people that are on the bench, but they were doing pretty good. All these considering. Some people are like, oh, D, they were struggling to beat. I'm like, they still won, though. Win is a win. Yeah. And, like, uh, KD didn't play. He was injured, but he was warming up. So, I saw him, like, before the game started... He was like hooping. He was just taking shots. Yeah. So I had that on my stories. If you look at my uh, TikTok, Hollywood is probably I have like you'll see Katie in, like in the crowd just taking shots or, or on the court taking shots. But overall, good experience seeing like the the LA yeah. the stadium. It's pretty cool. Never been to Crypto Arena before. AKA Staples Center. Yeah. Uh, keep it at LA though. Pop Smoke got killed in LA. Speaking of Pop Smoke. His killer got four years, sentenced to four years. In and, prison. and apparently, the reason why they're they're saying that oh he only got four years because he was tried as a minor when he when he got caught, which doesn't make sense to me because when TK got caught, he got they, they gave him fifty five. And mind you, he wasn't even the one that pulled the trigger. He yeah, was just a ball, and everyone else just gave him up because he was a high profile name in the case. And they said yeah. what I'm saying because I think he sold the weapon to the person that did the killing. He was in the car with him, but they yeah. all switched on him and blamed it on him. Yeah. But because he because he's sticking to all the street codes, he's not snitching because he he wants to still have a good reputation. But you can have a good reputation, but like in jail, but outside <laughs> here, you're still a locked up man. It's it's sad that like, but at least he's taking responsibility for the fact that uh, accountability for the fact that he did he was involved in criminal activity. He didn't try to blame it on nobody else. Unlike the other people that were with him that actually did more of the stuff. But you know they said yeah. when you're when it's time to protect yourself. People will do whatever they can to stay free and protect their freedom. So, hey, at least X is XXX killers got life in prison. Like, what they deserve? Fuck it, them bums. Did you Fuck see? Did you see what uh, his mom said about them? Don't drop the soap, bitch ass niggas. <laughs> That's exactly what she said. She said, she said, uh, she said they're grown man. They knew what they did. He said, since they're so tough, hopefully they can stay tough in jail. I said, yo, That's, yeah. it's funny, but. Well deserved tour of those Nah, because I was keeping up with that trial a little bit. Them dudes was blowing kisses, smiling, and yeah, trying. They were being like, over 50, 50K. Fuck them. Yeah. Anybody that has to... Let me make this announcement real quick. Anybody that got to rob somebody with their hard-earned money and kill them for that shit, you're a bum. You're the scum of the scum, the earth. You're lazy. Fuck you. Lazy. You deserve every bad thing that comes for you. you I have rob, sympathy bro, for you. You would rather kill someone than work eight hours to get that money. Like, you could literally... Let's say you're making like eight, you're making like ten dollars an hour, right? You work, yeah. You get, you get like eighty bucks. You're a fucking bozo. Yeah, that's All of them got exactly what they got, and I'm glad homeboy snitched. He deserved life too, but he snitched on their ass and made sure their ass is staying in prison for the he, rest he of their life. He started the process because they were gonna take forever trying to figure out who's the, the, yeah. the shooter. Yeah, so mm -hmm. fuck them, XXX. Rest in peace, X. Rest in peace, uh, Pop Smoke. Take off. He need justice for his kid for for his getting his death too. Because they're saying that they're not deserve that. They're saying that uh, they're not saying. Did they say a minor kill takeoff too? Nah, they said some DJ nigga no. accidentally shot him. But he need to be held accountable too. Because if you shoot someone and they get hit in the crossfire, because my in that whole situation, takeoff was just there. But he was trying to defuse the altercation. Take off one of the chillest, calmest rappers ever in rap history. He did not deserve that. No one deserves to be killed. Bro. No, nobody, nobody deserves that. But he really did not. not unless you're a rapist or a pedophile. Rapist, pedophile, child killer. Yeah, y'all deserve to burn in hell and get killed. But yep, yep. yeah, all right, agree on that one. What else we got? What um, else we got? So the next about? thing we were going to talk about was the the AI generated rap. Oh yeah, the artificial intelligence. <laughs> so like, I'm sure a lot of you guys. Let me backtrack just a, just a little bit. So there's this thing called Chat GPT, right? And uh, basically, people have been using it to like write a. Uh, homework assignments, essays yeah. for colleges and stuff. And some other, like, kid, he made a, a counter program that will, like, detect that someone's using chat GPT yeah. so that like, they can't cheat in schools. And he was selling it to the, he was giving it to the schools for free. He wasn't even profiting off it, which is crazy. Like, I feel like if I would make something that could stop from cheating, I would, I would get my bag out. I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah. But <laughs> people like that, I would, because, you know, everyone has had to, like, get help for essays in, previously in the past. So yeah. I don't really say anything too crazy about it. Because when you take a test, you obviously can't cheat a test because you're going to be in a room with, with cameras, yeah. teacher walking around. You can't use a computer to type up the answers for a math problem. So you, 
Yeah. Cheating can only take you so far. But leading up to the AI rap thing, they were using uh, AI, the AI to make verses for deceased rappers. Like they were doing it for Tupac, for yeah. uh, Biggie, and people were even doing it for artists that are still out there. You doing it for Drake, Kanye. So I don't know if you guys know who RDC World is. They're like a group of uh, entertainers slash Supreme Dreams. Dreams. Yeah. Is- Homeboys Instagram. Yeah, yeah, so they had they made a video about it and how they were that. using the funny. they were using the the AI to make like the generated voices for they did it for Drake, J Cole, they did it for Ice Tupac, Spice, Ice Spice. <laughs> and basically they were making a joke, but the the joke every joke has a little bit of truth to it, right? So like if people are able to generate verses using like a, a artificial intelligence, then that means that rappers are going to be having to sue a whole bunch of people for using their likeness in their yeah. voice. You can do that. But yeah. only if you're like, but the prop, but the thing is though, you'd have to copyright your voice. Yeah. But how do you copyright your voice? Because they can only copyright something that they've already made. Yeah. So if you're using a voice that's AI generated, they can't sue you for that because you you literally it's an original song, but it's using your voice. What they can't sue them for is like uh, if they were if they're using their their uh, their voice to promote something that is against yeah. what they they stand for. Like let's say. They use like a Drake's Drake's voice and they use it to make a song about, I don't know, killing puppies or something. Yeah. And they, they have a song like, yeah, man, Drake hates puppies. He hates this, da, da, da. And they can, the AI can be used for some real devious thing, right? Because you can yeah. be using it to promote hate speech. You can be using it to basically just say, to push an agenda or yeah. some pro, some form of propaganda. So it can be real dangerous. Like yeah. imagine if politicians start using AI, they'd be like, oh, did you know that so-and-so that you're running for? He's the same person that believes in X, Y, Z. And then yeah. they could be using it as for smear campaigns, and that'd be real dangerous. You already see like the fake clips that they make where they take uh, phrases out of context from uh, from political from yeah. politicians whenever they're doing debates, and that's that's the sloppy ones. Imagine they got the AI that's all crisp and smooth. And it's not <laughs> like a conversation between me and you. That would be mad dangerous. Nah, that AI shit. When I heard that shit, I was like, Yo, what the fuck? I said, oh, hell no. Nah. They using people's voice. Jay-Z's our engineer guru is like, we can't let that, like, you t- be able to take people's wellness and likeness. That shit is not cool. Yeah. That shit is not it. Cause they, they need to make a law about that. Cause yeah, that's I, so I don't know strong. how to copyright a voice, but they need to figure out a way for you to copyright your, your voice. They were taking Kanye's voice and put them on, like, Drake songs and putting Drake's voice on Kanye's songs. I was like, yo, what the f- These people got too much time on their hands. Like, it's bro. cool to make for, like, a skit, but... I'm sure most people are not going to be using it for jokes. They're going to be using it for, like, to tarnish people's reputation and yeah. and stuff. So, it's mad dangerous. That shit's crazy. Bro. And speaking of AI, you saw how uh, Elon Musk, they're trying to make the Tesla bots. And guess yeah. what those Tesla bots look like? They look like the robots from iRobots. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. And Standing I saw the world, bro. Yeah, but instead of being, like, all white, like, the robots, they were, like, white with the bl- They were, like, white and black. Yeah. But that's crazy because, like, me personally, I'm not having a robot running around in my house, <laughs> having Fuck access though. to my bank account. Having access to the things that can keep you alive, the smoke detector, yeah. your oven, your uh, electricity, your AC, your your gas. That yeah. guy could literally start listening and say, hmm, humans are inferior. Time to destroy everything in sight. Yeah. They're like, your genetic code is flawed. Time to erase, destroy. And then they, try, <laughs> they, they do that. That would be insane. I, see, I went to a McDonald's. I think I went to a McDonald's, me and my wife. I don't know. I think he's near her job. Like, There's like... Maybe it's another one, but it's so many Donalds, like, they have no, it's like no human workers, like, there. Yeah, I think. Barely I, any. I saw some of that. They're doing a bunch of restaurants now where, like, they're just trying to take out the amount of service. And I feel like, in turn, it seemed like a good idea for, for the sake of speed. But the problem with that is they're going to be getting rid of a lot of jobs. Yeah, and there's are. A, there's a lot of people, back in the day, a fast food restaurant job used to be, like, for high school students, college students. But now you see people that are, like, in their 30s working at McDonald's because the economy is so bad that people yeah. are out here having to work not one, not two, sometimes even three minimum wage jobs yeah. at like a fast restaurant or like a, like Walmart or like a, a regular grocery store. Yeah. So like it's getting real hard out here. So they start using robots to replace employees and they're ruining the economy. Well, they're boosting the economy for those uh, capitalistic, uh, the CEOs and people that own the big businesses. But yeah. for people that have small businesses, like they can't compete with that. And of course, there are people that need jobs. So now it's like they're take they're cutting out like the need for human life to be working. Yeah. But the problem is, what if a, a machine like I, me personally, I'm not gonna trust a machine to make my food. Cause yeah, a human being can spin your food, but a machine all I could do is it's like <laughs> it could literally like either make your food catch on fire, or shoot, they could be passing you the food and then shh, you get electrocuted. Like what the heck? Yeah. It, it, I could just see a whole lot of things. I don't I don't trust the whole 
artificial intelligence movement. Everybody keeps saying, oh, we need it. I'm like, no. There's a reason why humans exist, right? It is not our job to try to create life. Like, outside of giving birth and reproducing, it is not our job to create fake life. Yeah. I, don't I, I already thought it was pretty, like, it was, we were pushing the limits at having the uh, AI voice assistants, right? But the moment we start going past that and trying to, like, make, like, artificial human beings, like, robots that can think and, like, basically they think that they're human. That yeah, that's crazy. I don't even want to get into that. That's why I really ain't saying nothing because yeah. <laughs> I don't even like the thought of that artificial. It, that is scary. It scares me, bro. Like, yeah, it scares me too. That's why I'm just like I'm listening to what you're saying, yeah. but in my head I'm just like I don't even want to mm-hmm. touch on that shit. Oh yeah, bro. let's talk about the the little the Roddy Rich and Rich Homie Quan thing. This little quick five minute beef that happened. Yeah. <laughs> you want to go ahead and talk about that? One? I guess uh, Roddy Rich was mad. Not Roddy Rich. My bad. Rich Homie Quan was mad because they said they took. His verse off a song that was on DJ Drama's album called, uh, what's it called? I'm Really Like That. You listen to that? I know. I haven't even listened to it. I haven't even listened to it. I, I, I don't, I don't, honestly, I, I would rather listen to it with Rich Homie because a lot of people will say that uh, Young Thug is better than Rich Homie Kwan. I disagree. I think Rich Homie Kwan better than Young Thug. The reason why Young Thug got more popular was because he was more gimmicky. Yeah. Rich Homie Kwan wasn't doing gimmicks. He was just making music. Yeah. Because, you know, he had that one song, like, uh, it was like... Uh, when he was doing that dance, they were like, hit the quad, they were like, ooh, 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 ooh yeah. Rich, that was called Rich Flex. Fre- Rich Flex. Not man. Rich Flex, that's drinking. Yeah, no, yeah, it was, uh, Flex or some shit. I forgot. It was, it was, it was like Flex, like, ooh or something. Yeah, like some shit like that. And then he obviously had that song, make you feel some type of way. <laughs> yeah, that, he had that hit song, and he had the, the, please get the F out my face. Please get the F out my face. I yeah, that that was a song. Oh, him and I, the, come through too. Yeah, I'm feeling I'm like the man, man when I come through. <laughs> that man, I, look, say what you want. That boy, uh, Rich Homie Quan. But that big save he had with Young Thug was hard. Yeah. you listen to it. The yeah. flight, uh, what's it called? Uh, Rich, Rich, Rich yeah. Gang. Yeah. 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 And don't forget when he had that Rich Homie Quan best body of work, in my opinion, still to this day is uh, I promise I will never stop going in. That shit was hard. Yeah, and then he had it still going in reloaded. Then. People didn't listen to his, not a lot of people talk about his album in 2019. I thought he's I, know, I got that album. That shit was it's called Rich as in Spirit. Yeah, it Rich was good. Spirit. He had a song called Achieving, Reflecting. Uh, what is it? Imperfect Flower. Like, yeah, that shit was good. Album was 10 out of 10, bro. Like, honestly, no skips. But because it didn't get radio promotion, because he did get black ball by the industry, because he, he was talking about Young Thug, and, like, they were calling Young Thug gay, and he was like, he, they, he, they were saying, oh, so are you on that wave too? He said, oh, no, I'm not with that. And then Young Thug took that up. Personally, he was like, dang, he's like, you supposed to be my homie. You out here let, let, yeah. let him talk bad about me like that. And that's what made him split apart. Yeah. But more of the story, or quick wrap up, Roddy Rich basically said that he didn't he didn't take him off the song. He, he said he didn't even know he was on the song. Yeah, which I, I feel like is kind of cap. He's probably just trying to cover his bit. Because if you're making a song, most of the time they're going to say, hey, you're going to be on, this is going to be all the people that are on the song. So that way you know whose part you're yeah. going to come after so you can make sure your verse fits. So I'm kind of calling Cap on that. I don't believe that. But then Rich Homie posted said they had a conversation. Everything's all good. Yeah. So, so that like, shit wasn't really. Yeah. But hopefully they drop. If, if they're really squashing it, like for real, they should just drop the song with both of them on. That's up. That's now, up to drama. DJ yeah. Drama. So I think if they do that, then it would it would literally just make the world keep going. You know what I'm saying. So but Rich Homie, Clint, he, he got some hits, man. Don't sleep. Nah, listen he got listen to hits. Rich Homie Spirit. They dropped 2019. Listen to his album Coma. He just dropped some new mixtapes like a while ago too. So, Rich Homie Kwan, he he might not be the, as big of an artist as he was then, but his music is still good. So, yeah. go ahead, check him out, man. Rich Homie Kwan. Anything else we got to touch on? Hmm, let me see. Let me see. Uh, Heard that Mario movie's good. I'm gonna oh, watch yeah. that. Song. I saw it on uh, on Friday. No, I saw it on Thursday night. It was good. Uh, Jack Black, he stole the show, bro. Like Jack, you know who Jack Black is. Jack Black is like one of my favorite actors. Like he oh, really, he, he, he really like, like that. Like you had a. Uh, what is it? Uh, Macho Libre. Yeah. That movie, and then you had the House of, uh, School of School of School Hard Rock. Rock. Yeah. School of Rock. That great. Jack Black is phenomenal. He was doing great as Bowser. Like when you watch the movie, and like he started talking, like he he used a completely different voice, right? And that's what makes a good actor a good actor. You can people don't even know it's you. You're playing a whole persona because yeah. Bowser doesn't talk in uh, the Mario games that much. Nah, he like at all. Know. Like if anything, they just have him roaring, and then they have the text bubbles, but he doesn't say anything. So now that I have a, a voice in my head for what Bowser should sound like, yeah. I can't imagine any, anything else than Jack Black's voice for it, which is great. Oh, you know, we, one last thing before we get out. We got to talk about the Angel Reese. Oh, yeah, yeah. So the LSU we, versus the... That the shit Bible. was crazy. So she doing a You Can't See Me, and the white girl was at first, Caitlin Clark, whatever. Everybody said, oh, yeah, that's good. I'm praising her. 
But the moment they play each other in the championship and Angel Reese do it, oh, she has class. Yeah. She has no class. They, they, were like her, bad, they were like bad sports and shit. They won't call her. Some dude was like, yeah, you a piece of class, is piece of shit. Like, yeah, and I think that's so, it's taking it too far. Bad sportsmanship is when you lose a game and then like someone comes for a handshake and then you like, you be like, they go for a handshake. You be like, get that. Get that. I'm yeah. face. Like, you, you didn't win for real. You only won because the refs cheated. But, but we like, know, we all know why they were coming at Angel Reese a different way. Yeah, I don't want to say I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't want to do it, but we know why. Because she's black, and that's what happened. They blew it up, and then the white girl, Caitlin Carr, came out and said, Yeah, I don't, she shouldn't get no backlash. It was competition. The, the thing that's funny about that, yeah, like, she's not even the one that, that blew it up. It was the people that were mad that the, yeah, the, 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 ma- the majority, the majority <laughs> black team. Uh, the black college athletes were the ones that won, and they were upset about that. That was the real reason. That is the reason. Because when she was doing all the other team, no one said a thing. They're just like, "Yeah, man, you go, girl. You're doing great. Yeah. You show them who's boss." <laughs> but uh, yeah, a, a, a melanated queen does it. She, you know, she talks. She's she not even talking crazy. She just basically like it's like when LeBron he would he would dunk. He'd be like this. The he'd, silencer, he'd, be, he'd be breaking the, the silence. Yeah. yeah, or like when when uh. John Mar- John Moran does the gritty. gritty yeah. Like is this a celebratory thing? Like it's not even something that takes anybody now. Just like you happy like you proud of, you're proud of your athletic ability. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out LSU though for yeah, winning the championship. Sure. Also, we so, live in San Diego. Shout yeah. out San Diego State. Y'all didn't win. Y'all didn't quite win it, but y'all made it to the championship. And not a lot of people can do that, man. Yeah. So y'all, y'all got that merch. Y'all can say y'all went to the championship. So, so San Diego. Maybe, maybe next year. Maybe next year. Yeah, they got a good team, man. They're gonna do big yeah. things next season too. So shout out to them. And uh I think that's about it. We covered yeah. everything. So, you know, stay tuned. We're going to, uh, starting this week, after this episode airs, we're going to do the next episode on Discord just to try it out. So, either we go live on Discord or we just, we're going to have me and him talk and we're going to bring some guests in. So, stay tuned. We're going to be having a lot of guests soon. So, yeah. be on the lookout for that. We, have, we might start switching it up to have, like, some episodes, like, talking about one specific topic. So, we might have... He might have some of his homies on here. I might have a homie. We might talk about a specific yeah, topic. So that's what we might do it on Discord. Just so if we do an episode of Discord, we won't have to meet up in person. We can just do it from wherever we are in, in the state. Yeah. We're in California right now. So I could be in like San Diego. He could be in LA. Yeah. I could be in San Francisco. He might be in San Jose. Like We could be basically creating content forever. So we just want to make this uh, podcast more like uh, diverse yeah you know? I got you my people to... back in VA uh, I might have, I'm, have, I'm about to have some of them on soon my boy D. LaRusso shout out to him uh, my other homeboy Shelton some people from back from the 7-5 so we got we got big things man we got big things in yeah. the works we want to we want to talk about stuff not only stuff that's like current and events but we want to talk about like a bunch of like controversial not controversial but things that people Tend to disagree on like just relationship stuff, yeah. things of that nature. Yeah, relationship stuff. We put some knowledge in real estate. Yeah. My boy Jay Jalen, we trying mm-hmm. to get him on here soon. So, so I, I started doing uh, public interviews on public. Well, I don't know. Yeah. I said I'm public. That was redundant. <laughs> I did public interviews at a convention, and I did a public interview like at the mall. So I'm gonna we're gonna start doing like interviews like yeah, we we're should. gonna interview people like at night, like outside of the club, outside of like football games, basketball games. Out of, at, at any big event, really, just so we can spread our name around so people know what we, we do. Yeah, networking. Yeah, yeah so key. if you look at my little uh, YouTube shorts and on TikTok, I've been posting clips from the interviews. I'm going to drop a big video. Like, it's going to be like a 30-minute video of like all the interviews I've done. It's going to be a compilation. So just stay tuned for that. We're going to be moving a lot on a larger scale. So Yeah. Just to the culture, man. All right, man. Um, we out. Peace.